Good afternoon and happy Easter to you all. Please don't rush with life. The nature and the existence is much more powerful than all the human thoughts, human sciences, human politics, human religious ideologies, human money put together. It's much more powerful. The nature is such an invisible virus that has penetrated us so powerfully into every fabric of life. The greatest nation on earth to the weakest and most vulnerable nation on earth, to the most powerful, to the most gentle, to the most, or should I say, the richest, to the poorest, have been struck by an invisible, invisible life. A virus is a life form that is trying to find its habitat, its space to thrive to the fullest. Trying to live its life, the life of the virus, it is finding its ways around by finding human body as the most nourishing place to live on. And by doing so, and is trying to live so aggressively like we have been doing on this planet for such a long time, it is time that we all should wake up to this reality, at least for now that it is trying to live to the most exuberant and most incredible comfort it can. And by doing so, it's not that the virus wishes to kill you. It is that the virus is finding its way to live in a more exuberant way, more, more, Mo, I don't know how to put it, but somehow it is trying to thrive as we have been for centuries by accumulating, by grabbing, by greed, by cutting the forest down, by polluting the water, polluting the air, by, by pretty much killing every other creature for our comforts by compromising other life for this life, for this life, for that life, by eating foods that has emotional and complicated life memories. And this is not going to, um, this is not going to in any way heal you or be able to overcome the situation we are facing. We can simply become conscious and pay attention to life all around us and wake up to more realistic awakening and become gentler, become conscious and be responsible and happy Easter. It must be the best time for all of us to practice what does Easter mean in our minds? What are the other festivities that are going to happen this month of April? How we can reflect by staying indoors, being conscious 
and been becoming more gentler in our ways of living. 